Hello, it's Glenn Fisher here again. We are now on, where are we? Video 6? Video 7? We're, we're, we're bombing along, certainly. Um, and we are creating your own online business. And if you've been following so far, um, we've, we've covered a lot of ground. We've set up a WordPress website. We've opened a MailChimp email account to be able to send emails to people, We've shown you how to get people's emails on your WordPress and upload them um, via a CSV file to MailChimp. Uh, I've shown you how to set up a Twitter account. And mo more recently, in the last video, I showed you how to create PDFs, which um, you can use to create a free guide uh, to send to your subscribers. Or you could even use it to create a product uh, which you could sell to your subscribers. And we'll be looking at PayPal and a thing called Big Cartel and various uh, payment uh, options uh, in the future. And we'll also be starting to get a little bit more advanced and starting to look at uh, how you can really, really take this to the next level. But for now, we're still just going to take one step at a time. Remember that first... Um, email I sent about this saying slow and steady wins the race and I do believe that when it comes to setting up your own online business if you're not up to date uh, if you've landed on this video and you've not seen the previous videos um, make sure you take some time to visit a new um, email uh, that I've set up for this uh, it's an email e-letter completely dedicated to your own online business and setting one up um, if you've not signed up to it if you visit your own online business dot org that's dot o r g um, you will be able to put your email address in there and you will receive each and every video that I do on this and a lot of extra other bits and bobs um, that will help you take your website to a next level it's all about um, creating your own online business uh, and I think you'll find it very useful if you have been following get your name down there if you haven't already um, as that I'll be keeping you up to date um, giving you some special offers that I've been able to find with regards to um, hosting and setting up uh, email um, marketing software and stuff like that so do visit that website um, as I say the last last video we were looking at uh, creating a PDF and I showed you how to do that using Primo PDF a, a special program you can download for free uh, on the web and we created a PDF now I've just this morning um, created another one just to show you and what I want to do today is show you um, it's quite a quick thing quite an easy thing but it's a very important thing and something that you will do quite a lot as you um, move forward through your own online business it's something I do a lot uh, I create a lot of free PDFs um, for shortcut bulletin um, to um, develop a better relationship with my followers uh, so that they're getting something of value on a regular basis I can just write a quick guide um, with something useful of value um, that I um, have learned myself and then create a PDF and email it to people um, so that they're getting value um, for their um, loyalty to you. So um, we create a PDF and hopefully you've already done that. Um, I will just load that up to show you exactly what it is. If I find it PDF to upload uh, and I put a password on it, which you can do if that's not the right password there <laughs> you can do if you think there we go we've got um, how to upload a PDF onto WordPress and then offer it to people who subscribe to your website and page two just to show you how you can how it creates a PDF and there's different pages that you can read um, and if you haven't got that website there there's the uh, your own online business org visit that sign up so I've got that and very simple this you go to your dashboard in WordPress and you go to media okay and here you'll see everything you've uploaded you can see I've not uploaded anything yet but as soon as we've done that PDF it will appear uh, and all you have to do is go to add new and you can see here that the allowed file types are JPEGs, uh, GIFs, PDFs, documents, 
uh, PowerPoint presentations, Excel spreadsheets, all those things you can upload onto your thing. You've got a maximum upload file side of one gigabyte. Now, anything you're doing um, shouldn't exceed that at this stage. Uh, eventually, as your business grows, then you'll be looking to expand uh, how much memory you've got stored. Uh, but by that point, um, once you've got that much content uh, and that much media on there, you'll probably be wanting to look at um, a more professional hosting, uh, which we'll be looking at further down the line. Uh, you'll be, we'll be looking at things like Aweber, um, which is slightly better than MailChimp um, and slightly more professional. But while we're starting out, and I can't stress this enough, we don't want to be spending any money. So um, I'm trying to keep this as cheap and as simple as possible so that you can see how easy it is. Now, obviously, you don't need me to show you. Select files, find your PDF, open it very easy that will then load this up now it comes to this page and you can see the title of your thing there the caption if you want one I don't need one description just for good housekeeping behind your website you could just put free guide uh, for subscribers so that you know what it is for yourself and then the all important thing is is this is the Earl this is the website um, or the place on the internet where it is saved and where other people can visit it and download it. So copy that. Now, if, if you don't worry if you don't copy it at this point in time, you can always go back to this page and get it. Uh, you can see save all changes there. And it appears in here. And you can see if you click on it again, um, it's got those details. And again, you can you can click and copy that web, uh, website. So you've got that there. That's your download link. So now all you need to do to send it to your people um, would be going to your um, email account, go onto your MailChimp dashboard, and you can go to a campaign. And I'm going to look at this in a lot more detail in another video because um, you can see actually they show you your own videos so you can do that there but I'm just gonna you can create your first campaign here and we'll just do a regular old campaign and all a campaign means is um, an email send so I want to send it to my entire list so you click on there uh, you can give your campaign a name so you go free guide Um, the subject line, uh, you can change it to download your free guide. And in, in much further down the line, I'll give you a lot more tips um, on uh, what subject lines to use, what I use uh, in, the, in the copy side of things, um, which uh, I'm quite good at, uh, luckily. Um, and you can see there first from name we can just put Glenn um, and you could maybe put at Glenn is cool so that they know um, where your website is it's got the reply email there all very simple stuff um, you can connect to Twitter integrate with Facebook so it posts on there when you send an email we'll look at all that further down the line don't worry about that today I just want to show you very quickly in this video just to kind of um, finish off this idea of sending a guide to your subscribers um, you can see here there's a million and one um, different formats for uh, your emails um, and you can if you just find a plain one for today um, there you go elegant newsletter that's fine and all it takes is you're just going through these processes. Have a play with this. Have a play with this in your own time. I'm going to go through it. Don't worry. Uh, if you're not, if you don't feel confident going through all this, um, do not worry about it. I just want to show you that with that link, all you have to do is you can go here, and once you're in this um, creating your email, all you have to do. Let's just get rid of all that, and you put dear reader. And then you go to download your free guide. 
just click oh, just click here and then all you have to do is wherever you want to do it highlight it go up here to link put in your L there now just bear in mind that remember we copied it with the HTTP in fact it's got rid of the thing so it's alright and one little quick tip in target always go to new window blank okay what that does is that will open um, that PDF in a new page the reason you do that is that you don't want uh, the PDF to replace your email uh, or your website so you want them to open the PDF but then still have your email open so that they might visit your website again uh, they might click elsewhere on your email if you've got an advert or a contact button or a forward to a friend function um, anything like that so just always go to target new window blank link type oh, da -da -da, all in there click there and then save that and you can see if we hopefully um, do a pop-up preview. Whoops! Oh. Trusty old computer. Let's temporarily allow, always allow pop-ups on this site. Yes, I would. Apologise for that. Still be showing laptop. Come on. So let's try it again. Pop up preview. And there you can see, hopefully, touch wood, if you click on that, it directs you to there. You put in your password, which I keep getting wrong. Glenn is cool. One. And bingo, you're in there. And you can see you've still got your email open. Okay. It's not quite a letter from the president, but won't worry about that. So we can close that. So there you go. You've seen how easy that is. Um, from this point, you just keep going along with your email. And eventually, that's your plain text version. You can see we're going to look at this. You need to see. You can see there I've got a problem. Um, you need to verify that you have access to the email we call a pub which we do and everything I can sort that out later on and we'll look at that in another um, excuse me another video for now though I just wanted to show you how easy that is to send it once that was issue was resolved you'd literally be able to send that um, email with the link included um, to your list so you can see it's very simple to create a PDF as we looked at in the last video um, using Primo PDF upload it onto your WordPress site get that link and then into your MailChimp it goes uh, with a link you email that to your subscribers um, and they've got a free guide um, in the next video because I have just rushed through these elements uh, I'm gonna take you step by step through how to set up your own email with a HTML template um, and something that will look professional, um, will be useful to your uh, potential customers uh, and show you how to do that and actually send an email. Um, so make sure you tune in for that. To be alerted as to when that video is available, make sure you subscribe to your own online business, um, which you can visit at your own online business dot org. Uh, I hope you found that useful. Uh, I'll be back again uh, in a few days uh, with that next next video. Thanks so much. Bye.